Whoa. Whoa. Boy! Whoa. Calling point over there, sir. Oh, there they go. Chad, good luck to him. Hey guys, welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. Today we're going to be viewing the ISCA Futurity. In this event we have Neo, Trip, and our friend's dog named Rock. And before I get started showing you Neo, um, I'm going to show you the find that Rock had. I uh, happened to have the GoPro on my head and I turned it on and started filming, but uh, sorry the angle's so bad. Turns out I found some cell phone footage, so I'll throw that up here also in the corner. So as you can see, Rock had a pretty good solid find right there and uh, st stood broke pretty well on his bird there. If you guys watched my last video, it was the gun dog. It took place on the same day as this Futurity in the morning and now this Futurity is taking place in the afternoon of the same day. In that last video, I mentioned that Neo is very pregnant right now. She's two weeks out from having puppies. And so she's not running very well. She's very pregnant and not able to run like she usually does. I went through a huge description in the last video about Neo's situation. And as I mentioned in that video, she hasn't been able to been work on birds in about two months because of her being pregnant. This morning's brace, the gun dog event was very interesting. So let's uh, see how this futurity goes. And then after that, we'll have trip up next. She's not scared. Jug her face. Where are you on time? Where are you on time? I don't know. I came off of it when I fell. 13. But when it stopped, great. My good stomach.
call him point over there, sir. Oh, there they go. Whoa. All right. That was seven birds, Dave. There we go. That was a cubby. Get some water. Yeah. Go, go, hit the whistle. Go, 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 go. All right. Go. Two minutes left. Hold up. Yeah. Pick him up. There you go. Thank you, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> so let me kind of break down this fine for you guys here. Uh, Neo's getting pretty darn tired, and the temperature is about 75 degrees, so it's it's pretty hot for. Her. And so all I got to do is finish this brace, and I figured I'd kind of ride over here and and check this tree tree row over here and. Uh, this is how it panned out. She made a move out in front of me here. Not a very big one because she's pregnant and really tired. But uh, here in a sec, I'm going to call point. Call him point right now. Call him point over there, sir. And as you can see, I'm waiting on my horse right now. But then a bird just flew. So I hurry up and got off to try to ensure that Neo wouldn't go chase it, which she didn't. She actually held it, stayed very broke. I was pretty proud of her. And as I walked up to to get her, a bunch of more birds got up at, at that point. Unfortunately, the judge wasn't there yet, and uh, he didn't quite see it all. I mean, he he did see it, but from a distance. As you can see, another bird got up right there. there but since he didn't see it up close, um, he ended up putting me back in the callback. So coming up later in this video, uh, you'll see Neo in a callback. This was actually the biggest cubby find of the whole national event. So pretty proud of Neo right here. Ready, sir. Good luck. If you guys watched the last video, you oh, saw that dude. trip won the gun dog and did really well this morning. And now he's running again this afternoon in this futurity and uh he ran really really well he ran pretty big uh he tried to push forward for the most part um and overall did a really really good job um unfortunately he just wasn't able to find a bird uh conditions out here are really tough to find birds anyways so um like i mentioned it's about 75 degrees and uh it was just a really tough brace for him, but the judges liked him enough to uh, have him in the callback, so uh, you're going to see that here in a little bit. Yo, 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 
All right. Yo! Yo! All right. All right. All right. Yo! Whoop! 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 Whoa! 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 So just like the gun dog, pretty tough scenario, the bird's right under her nose again. And so Whoa. I uh, decided to hurry up and get up here. But she's so pregnant and hormonal that um, she's acting really weird Whoa. right here. So once again, I probably said, whoa, way too much right here. But uh, just whoa. really trying whoa. to work on this green whoa. broke dog that's whoa. pregnant uh, whoa. has been proven to be a pretty tough situation for me but uh Whoa. we'll definitely be working on that in the future a second bird actually got up as you can hear right here and it was right next to her face that's why she was uh looking for it are you ready okay you <laughs> easy Trip. All right, bud. No, that is not. Trip. Come. All right, bud. Easy. Here, bud, here. Trip, come, come here. Come here. Trip, come. Here, come. Whoop. Thank you. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Good boy. <laughs> you. Good. If you guys didn't catch that the first time, Trip kind of did a stopped flush right here because a, a bird barely got up right next to him and he turned and pointed it. Whoop. Overall, did a pretty good job with it. Whoop. Thank you. Okay. First of all, thank you to everyone who entered and participated in the tournament. Speak up. Speak up. I want to thank Mike Cook and Craig Smith, our judges. Thank you. because that's the only way we get a futurity. And with that, we'll start the placement. Fourth place goes to, excuse me, Cooper. Woo! Oh, my. 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 O
Okay, third place. Trip. Thank you, judges. Second place goes to Neil and Okay, Trip got third, Neo got second, and Rock got first. I really wish the judges would have saw Neo's Covey find because she stood broke on it really well. And I know it's hard to see with the camera footage, but uh, I was very happy about that. And I think the judges would have been pretty happy about that too if they saw it a little bit better than what they did. Unfortunately, they were too far away to uh, see it. And in the callback scenario, with the bird being right under her nose, she just was too weird, too weird about it. But second place, pretty happy about that. Uh, can't complain. If you guys enjoyed this video, like always, please subscribe. Please hit the like button and share these videos. Uh, help, help get the word out on these field trial videos. And uh, as always, I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep field trialing. I'll catch you guys on the next one.